didn't I already go to heaven? We're, we're, we're heading there now. Shangri Spa. What is this place? Where are we? Seems we're pretty high, but it's too cloudy to see much. <gasps> hey, there's a green streamer. It just kind of trails off into the clouds. Should we try to see where it leads? This is actually a really excellent saving spot, but the problem is there's no save. No. So I guess we have to push on forward. Like, I... You know, this is like a, an excellent stopping point for us, isn't it? it? It really feels like it. But without a save block, I'm a little nervous. I think it's saved when we went up the tower, but it, I don't know. Let's go across this very dangerous bridge up in the middle of the sky. If this broke, we would just fall to our doom. Oh, no. Toad's own heaven. Paradise found. Yep. Toad's own heaven. Oh, yes. We found paradise. Do you know what that means? Because I don't, but I'm excited. It just sounds good. Oh, wait, it's hell? Oh, no. It's toad heaven, AKA everyone else's hell. Oh, you are right. All the toads I've killed are up here? That's like all of them. Oh, and of course, the toads don't give me a save block. It's not worth it, Mario. Let's go. Let's pull a Kaido. Let's go for it. Let's go, Mario. All right. Wait, was there something back here by this tree? I mean, this is kind of suspicious, yeah? Yeah? Oh, I mean, this is suspicious. And I think I... But I'm not seeing anything. Good luck in Toad Heaven, aka Hell. Thank you, Angie. I appreciate that. Thank you for the 150 bits. Here's hoping. Why are there, why, why are there naked angel toads? Shangri Spa, that, that sounds amazing. What, do, what does it mean? Shangri, it kind of sounds like angry. These toads don't look angry, they're almost too calm. It sure is mysterious. You are always welcome in Shangri Spa. Our first customer in what feels like eons, and it's Mario. This is a blessed day. You must have died too, Mario. Welcome. Did you get the special prize for visiting all the toad statues in the Great Sea? I can't wait to see it. I just knew you'd clear the three trials and join us today. I also predict you will enjoy yourself. I hope you enjoy death, Mario. Seek and you shall find. Come, follow me to paradise. Peace. Did you enjoy the trials you passed to get here? Oh, I hope so. We just want you to arrive pre-entertained. Someone at the front desk will be blessed to assist you. Oh, oh no one ever talks to me. What do I say? There's too much pressure. Uh, inspire your joy. No! No, I blew it! All right, you're okay with me, little glass toad. Everyone else... Get in the bonk. Love and peace. And Love vamp with the other gifted peace. sub. Love and uh, <laughs> 14 gift subs. Thank you. Gifted a tier one sub to Oblivious. Thank you so much. And Mr. Noluki has redeemed ad time. So welcome to Shangri Spa, Mario. It is time for your ad break. <laughs> welcome back to Shangri Spa. We're a place for you to rest, reflect, and be renewed through the power of hot springs. Love Hooray! Sign me up! Love My mind and body could use all of those things or a play with the gifted sub to Metal Mecha. The suggested donation for admission is a thousand coins, and it is mandatory. May I suggest you make that donation now? Dude, these toads around here are like, like cracking their knuckles, snapping their necks. The uh, suggested donation is uh, it's mandatory, Mario. Hey, I can't wait to be refreshed and renewed. I don't know which one I'm looking forward to more. Well, it, it is it is hell. 
Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy our services. Oh, and just one last thing before you go. We've started a successive soaker campaign. Please take this stamp card with you as a visit to our hot springs. What is going on? Love and peace. Love and What's going on around here? Peace. If you collect stamps from each of our hot springs, we'll give you a special prize. Just remember to get your card stamped each time, then bring it back to me when you're done. That's it for me. I hope you enjoy Shangri Spa. Yeah, I've been looking forward to looking forward to looking forward to something. Woo! Hey, look at that, Mario. It's a Super Marino toy. Toy? Super Marino? Not at all. This is a replica of the Spa Marino, a submarine we used to escort our guests to the Diamond Island Trials. I actually have quite a lot more to say about it. Do you want to hear its fascinating story? Yeah, yeah sure. Oh, good. I love telling this story. So according to legend, our little Spa Marino was once stolen by the mythical Captain Teod. As a sort of ransom, he offered the sub back to King Shroomsies in exchange for the king's crown? Well, that didn't sit well with King Shroomsy is a major spa enthusiast and Shangri Spa's most generous tipper. He also liked being king. So King Shroomsy's arranged to have Cam Captain Toad captured and frozen in a block of ice. What a story, right? So Captain Toad's kind of the bad guy? Wow, really? Being stuck in a deep freeze must have made Captain Toad less of a hothead. He seemed nice. Definitely not a king toppler, you know? Oh, well, Captain Toad is kind of a bad guy, huh? Sean. Re la spa. I'm at Angel Toadland. I'm somewhere. I think I'm dead. To return to the less relaxing but more real world, please use the pipe behind this door. Uh, we do want to do that pipe so we at least get a safe spot. Are we actually going to get some backstory? No, 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 no. Hey, that seems familiar. Ah, are you familiar with the ancient ones of the scorching sandpaper desert? Yes, in fact, our services here at Shangri Spa date back even to those ancient times. It is said that King Shroomsies himself was a frequent visitor, liked his towels pre-warmed, if I recall. Doesn't everyone? In any case, this relief was a gift from his kingdom. Thank you for asking me about it. Oh, not a, not tons of backstory, but enough to scare me. Can I still this get health? Are we not doing the health thing anymore? Hey, thanks, Ganriabo. I appreciate that. Grease Spa. <laughs> Sean. Grease Spa. <laughs> they really tried. Maybe Shangri on one on one toad and Spa on the other one would have been nice. Or maybe Sean Grease Spa. That, that works too. You know, whatever whatever floats their boat around here. Let's jump up here and rip off this number five. Uh, and let's go ahead and take this back to the warp pipe back home. We do have some small side items we can do first. I kind of forgot about. So if we look over here at the key items, got to go the other way around. Uh, we have the stamp card for going back into heaven. We have this big shell, which we can go roast. This canned heart we can also take and get opened. So we should probably go do these two things, yeah? So let's go work on that big shell first, because that's pretty close to us. And then we're going to go back to Toad Heaven. Let's steal these guys' 100 coins. They don't need them. They're not even going to taste that good. All right, here's where we should be able to cook, I think. Do we just hold it open the... Do we hold it over the fire? Can't select it. Oh, here it is. Hmm, should we try cooking something here? Yes, let's cook uh, the Goomba. No, we'll cook the big shell. <laughs> Did we just try to burn alive at the, at the clam, a toad? How did he survive underwater? I have so many questions already. Literally... 30 seconds into our stream. C questions. Questions. That was too close for clam. I mean, too clam for comfort. I mean, I've been in that clam for way too long. And you're naked. Oh, it's you, Mario. Did you save me? That's so cool of you. I'm actually the caretaker here. I love to search the Great Sea for exciting, innovative barbecue ingredients. Instead, I nearly drowned. 
It was a great adventure, but I miss cooking up baby back ribs. So it's good to be back, baby. Okay, why is the... what well, That counts as a toad rescue? That's kind of sad. Now we're firewood. Nice and smoky. Okay, what do we... Do... Did you see that? Did, did you see the toad, you know, just pop out of that thing? Okay, where is that toad? Maybe he has something else for us. His naked little booty ran this way. But these, none of these are... Maybe he's inside. 30 seconds in the stream, already naked toads. It is a problem. It really is a problem. My resident toad is back. There seems to be a change in the resident's dress code. Because he's naked, yes. So I have to actually look at this toad covering up his one, his one pectoral or his, his one pectoral and, and his, uh, and his mushroom. This is what we have to come look at is, uh, I'm just going to take this. Don't mind me. You remember that big tree in the forest? Kind of sounds like it's singing when the wind blows, right? Biggest tree we ever logged and totally worth it. Now we've got all the scrap and firewood we need. Oh, you told you killed that guy. He was alive. I bet that tree in the woods has grown pretty tall again. Might be time to commit to a deck extension. Oh, I could add a rotisserie nook. I think Grand Sap is going to die again pretty soon. Stop it. Why is this guy just touching himself? I'm going to open this up and slide that toad in there. Already we have that happening to us. See you later. Okay. Okay, I think we're I think we're actually done with this area for now. That was the last toad and last treasure collected. Not that we're really 100%ing, but you know, great. Uh, I think the other key accessory we need to go back to not Shogun Studios Autumn Mountain, Autumn Falls, whatever it's called. Okay, back to Autumn Falls. Looks really nice around here. Autumn Mountain. Oh, I have silver. Oh, okay. Oh, dang. That's yeah, so why I only have 30% off. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You don't want to mess with the Mario. This is where I committed a crime and pushed Bobby off the uh, the bridge. I remember that. I, I mean, I didn't do it, officer. Uh, nothing, MCT. Didn't do anything. Okay, I think this guy opens stuff. No, maybe it's you. Me love to open can with face. You have can need open? Max up heart plus five. Ding. How nice. Guys didn't care about it. He doesn't want what's inside. He just wants to open stuff. Okay, I think that was actually the two things we really needed to get accomplished, right? Welcome everyone back to Shangri Spa. We have given away our key items. We have a little bit of health leveled up. We found some toads and we are now going to go enjoy ourselves in the spa. We are indeed playing a horror game. There is nude angel toads everywhere. Avert your eyes. Well, let's go enjoy our trip to the spa. Welcome, everyone. It is spa time. Uh, how relaxing. Though, I, am I just going to walk in here with my shoes on? It's pretty rude. Spring of purification. Effective against rips and tears. Oh, I've... You know, I'm, I'm quite ripped. So, good spot for Mario to go in. Oh, yep. Just going to wipe our dirty boots all inside the spa. Hope no one else needs this today. Oh, it sure looks hot. Do you think this is one of the hot springs? Doesn't look very springy. Olivier, I'm going to dunk you in this. Ooh, I'm melting. Back to full health. You're so brave, Mario. You just jumped right in with no regard to your own crispness. And it seems like you're fine. Maybe even better than fine. Oh, I love how she's actually playing with the water, though. But what will happen to me? Will I get soggy? Probably. My heart's pounding, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Uh... 
I believe he's turning bright red. But this is max comfort level. Hmm. Have any of you been to hot springs and spas? So relaxing. Yeah, I get it now. Just gonna bliss out for a while. Don't mind me. Feels so good. So this is what they meant by refreshing and renewing your mind and body. Bad news, Mario. only care about hot springs now. Ah, uh, don't care my brother. Oh, I think she just went underwater. Oh, no, I was hoping for a splash effect. That would've been nice. How's the temp? I don't want to cook in my own shell. Oh, turtle soup right around here. Why, you're one of Bowser's minions, aren't you? It's awfully nice of him to let you take a spa vacation like this. I don't think Bowser's letting him. I think he deserted. Still too young? Okay, well, when you get there eventually, I think you'll... If you ever have a chance, I'd highly recommend him. To be honest, there is nothing that beats a outdoor hot springs with the snow falling down. If you ever have a chance to have that kind of experience, definitely go for it. You're... You're super cold, you step in the hot springs, and you just melt away. It's so nice. You didn't even stamp it in the center. Oh, oh freaking out. I did that in Japan. Sorry, you can't double stamp. You've already got this one. I can double stamp you. Hey, thank, thanks, Retro Wolf. Ooh, a legendary hammer. First time we used our legendary hammer, it didn't go so well. <laughs> Did like no damage, but that's okay. I know, right, Lopez? Oh, this is a surprise. Pleasant surprise. This looks nice out here. Hey, 360, how you doing? Wow, this view is incredible. We're actually floating in the clouds, Mario. It's so nice I could almost forget about the green streamer that's right there. Oh darn, I just remembered it. And now it's, hmm? What is that horrible, scary face doing here? I mean, come on, Bowser has feelings. I know he's the bad guy, but that's just rude. Do you think it's part of the spa? It's not renewing my mind or my body. Maybe we should ask someone, like this groundskeeper. Is that a magic cooper with a rake? Excuse us, groundskeeper, can you help us? Mario, what are you doing here? And it's not a rake, it's a broom. Sometimes I forget you're a celebrity. Or do you actually know this groundskeeper? Groundskeeper, I'll have you know. It's it's a part-time thing, okay? As Lord Bowser's number one, I have faced off against this meddling, mustachioed marauder more times than I can count. But it's like four or five. You may have heard of me. I am known as Kamek. Oh, pleased to meet you. My name is Livia and Mario and I are both try both traveling around a bit and trying to stop my brother's evil plan. I'm sorry I haven't heard of you, Mr. Kamek, but it's very impressive that you're Bowser's number one groundskeeper. No, that's not. I'm not. Look, the work I do for Bowser is I clean up his messes. Oh, God, I am a groundskeeper. <gasps> Thank you. As Lord Bowser's number one, Keeper, I have some important information for you. <gasps> After escaping in the clown car, Lord Bowser returned to his castle where I awaited his command. <gasps> but just as he arrived, we were overwhelmed by folded soldiers. Bowser was captured. Again, it's pretty common at this point. Happens all the time. Having heroically <laughs> secreted myself during the attack, I was ready to engage our emergency pro protocol. Oh, I like the heroically hid. They're very nice. But the button I pressed shut off the airship's engines instead. It wasn't my fault. One set on, one set off. How was I supposed to know? With the engines off, Bowser's castle plunged straight into the Shangri Spa campus. This is like a... <laughs> I love this scene. It looks like they're all about to be massacred. I'm pretty sure this exact scene was in Xenoblade Chronicles. At the very start, Colony 6, when they look in the sky, 
And the Metcon just come attack. Wrong lever, Kronk! Yeah! Right to our banquet hall! One must make a reservation to drop a castle on our banquet hall. Do you have any idea how far out we're booked? There was a wedding going on, a toad wedding, and now, well, they're dead. But, but there was a wedding occurring. Oh, I like how Kamek is actually sweeping. That's so funny. Actually groundskeeping. I have no choice but to charge a late fee, an early fee, and an on-time fee, a cancellation fee, and an appearance fee, all at the same time. How will you be paying today, blue robed wizard, coins, credit, or the blood, sweat, and tears of Bowser's mini minions? Excuse me, robed wizard. Hey, I know you can hear me over here. Hello. Ah, uh, never mind. Your fellow minions are already hard at work, so I'll just tack on additional silence fee and leave it. You leave you to it. Okay. Goodbye. Good luck. Well, you heard the toad. This is the state of Lord Bowser's minions, castle, and life. It's kind of sad and pathetic. Ah, so that scary looking face is just a part of Bowser's castle. Sorry, Bowser, about insulting your face. And we need to go inside the face to reach the green streamer. You intend to enter Bowser's castle? Ah, uh, very well. Perhaps I can be of some assistance. I do have the keys. Follow me, quickly now. Look at me not quickly going anywhere. Hey, welcome everyone. So we came in from the entrance to the front desk, went to the Spring of Purification. We're going to cross this bridge here. Right below us will be six. Four is the Spring of Bliss. Five is the Banquet Hall, which got crushed. Six is over there. Wait, what's eight? Why is that covered up? How, who made these maps around here? Your, spot, your silence is very reassuring. Ooh, there's a question mark block over there. You see that? Always go around to go get it, though. You know, I like this toad over here just puking. What a, what a fountain. They've got us sweeping the grass. Not even Bowser makes us do that. There also is no grass in there. Except for the grass that Bowser gets inside his room. This way, Mario! There's no time for side quests! Dang it, they got me. They knew where I was going. Flit spot fountain, a free amenity for paying guests. Ooh, free amenities for paying guests. That's me. Mario, get your over here. Sorry, can't make I'm doing stuff. Dang it. They're on me. They're on me. They know. One day you're leading an elite division of Psy Guys, the next day you're scrubbing the floor. Come on, managers gotta put in the hard work too. No rest for the wicked around here. Kamek, at least let me live. Or, I mean, let, let me save. I just saw the let me live my life, Kamek. Wow, terrifying. I feel really bad about all those wedding guests that are crushed underneath this. Here we are. Go right in, Mario. <laughs> that wasn't an evil laugh, by the way. Defeated again, Kamek. It's just that easy. What are you worried about? It's a perfectly standard mouth door. Worried about you calling it a mouth door? I want to go get that treasure chest. Okay, make chill. Oh, now I die. Oh, is that a sumo? No, where's the... Oh, I like the lightning. Well, that confirms it. There really is a lightning beast guarding the front door. I'm relieved it wasn't just my imagination. I knew we were paying... Expensive taxes for something, but I didn't know what it was. I suppose we don't have much chance getting instant from down here. And those folded soldiers confiscated my flying broomstick. How will we get up there? Think, Kamek. Maybe I can use this non-flying broomstick. Dad! Hey, it's Bowser! Junior, we will be playing with Bowser Jr. pretty soon in Super Mario 3D World. I'm pretty excited. Oh, it's the young master Bowser Jr. I've never been so happy to see Lord Bowser's devilish spawn come flying recklessly out of nowhere in his clown car. Why does he make Bowser Jr. sound like a terrible 16-year-old? Because we might be able to use that very clown car to reach the cloud, you see, so let's just knock him out. I didn't realize the lore here. Kamek hates 
Bowser's son. This is so funny. Oh, Bowser Jr. is going to get cut in half. Oh! We just watched some murder. <laughs> Ever see a child die in an E-rated game? We just saw it. No! Young master, your body! The clown car! Oh, I can't understand what he's trying to say, young master. If it's about your current day, I assure you that, we're, that we are aware of it. Dude, that guy, he got blasted there. Unfortunately, neither he nor his clown car are in a condition to help us anymore. Uh, we should probably worry a little bit more about him. This guy just got Joker ultimate, ultimated from Smash Brothers. Uh, excuse me, k -Mick. I know it seems off topic, but have you been into any of the hot springs yet? I have. They're very nice. You should try them out. Oh man, Bowser looks not not too good over there. They're pretty rejuvenating. Maybe a soak would help even the young master here. How is water going to glue this guy together? I know it was called like the spring of rejuvenate rejuvenation and heals rips and tears. That that is not a rip and a tear. He was sliced and diced. By Jove, you're right. Those straight up honest. I don't know that word. Straight up honest. I don't know that word. Toads, the lobby handed me a pamphlet about the restorative powers of the Spring of Purification. It's near the entrance. Gamex too smart for me. Quickly, let's glue the young master's shredded body into the Spring of Purification before the damage is irreversible. Honestly, if your head was cut off from your body, the damage is irreversible. I think it. I, I think it's irreversible. If my calculations are correct, he will be flying and wrecking havoc again in no time. I mean, maybe his corpse will, but he won't be. Yeah, we could use the tape guy. Oh, that's right, tape guy. Yeah, Olivia with the, uh, I know he just got murdered, but. You know what? Here's a better idea. Maybe if we go over this way, we have the lightning strike him and he can come back to life zombie style. Not me, you idiot. Sumo lightning boom, the, the, not me, no, Bowser Jr. Dream Star with the 30 bits, rip. True, he definitely died there. Here, get, I'm gonna push you over there. Oh, come on, get hit by lightning. I'm trying to get you back to life. Oh, he, come on, he's underneath it, come on. Hit him with the lightning. Come on, lightning! I'm trying to get Bowser Jr. Ah! <laughs> Love the music. What are you doing? This dude's dead! Okay, Mick, I've got, um... I got a suggestion. It, you, you might not want to hear it. Wait, do these people react at all to this? He doesn't care. Kamek, okay, you might not want to hear this, but just just hold it up. Hold it up into the sky and let the wind take him. I think it's time we just cremate him. I tried getting hit, hit, hit by lightning, and now we're just going to spread his ashes into the wind, okay? There's just no... His head was cut off. I, he didn't make it. I'm not a doctor, but he didn't make it. Oh, thank you, Ezekiel. I like the music, though. It's funny. Am I that heartless? No, I'm just very realistic about his chances. Are there charging chucks in here? No, don't tell me someone else has reserved the spring! Hopefully they're kind enough to see we have a dead body on our hands. Uh, excuse me, would you mind 
terribly if we happen we if we hopped in with our shredded friend here. Occupado. Oh, are you guys also shredded and trying to heal? Oh, they're shredded, all right. No! Oh, we called that! Oh! Oh, we got that one! Oh, ripped and shredded, and so very angry! Look, localization right here. We got the English localization on. Hey, it's fight time! Against the guys literally paying customers who are enjoying the springs. And we've just decided that they can't enjoy the springs anymore. Oh, I like this football lineup. It's actually hilarious. Oh, I didn't even see that shell back there. No. Wait, that did not work at all. Hang on. I think we gotta go. No, I think that was right. Gotta go back. There we go. Can't seem to be really disappointed when you discover you can't resurrect a person. Uh, yeah, we're trying to resurrect someone here. Tambourine item? What is a tambourine item? I don't know anything about tambourine items. Wait, did I equip everything? Kamek's on my side cheering as we kill off Bowser's minions? Nice! Hey, Kimmy! Good to see you! Oh well, all good. Hey, Nathan, how you doing? One item that boosts your allies' attacks? That sounds pretty cool. Is that something we've ever equipped ever? Is that something I own? <laughs> um... I don't have it, everyone. Oh, but I need to equip the step counter. You're right. I gotta take that off and equip that. Nice. Yeah, thanks, Kimmy. Where do you where do you go get it? That sounds pretty cool. I, I will go get it. Well, maybe I can't now because I've got a dead guy with me, but Yeah, thanks, Lopez. I did I did just kind of realize that. You told me earlier too. Bruh. Give me the dead coins. I'm too slow. Okay, you're just going to carry him above the water. You're going to put him in the water. <laughs> that's uh, that's so <laughs> that's so unceremonious. Bowser Jr., you have to live. Plop. Do we have to like arrange him close together? Like what happens if he like he reforms but his head's next to his leg and the, the Koopa car somewhere else? Now now, young master, be sure to soak your entire body. Oh, he definitely drowned if he wasn't already decapitated. Well, is it working? Well, now he's decapitated, dead, and drowned. Excellent job, everyone. I mean, he's not looking great, but I'm amazed he's alive. Aha, he's whole again. Perhaps I should rescind my one-star online review of Shingris. It's not Kamek. His name's not Kamek. It's Karen. That, that, that's that's what it is right there. One-star review because we charged him because they charged him fees because he crashed and murdered a family of toads getting married. Those toads made me pay. An extra fee. They said, because I killed six innocent civilians. What is that supposed to mean?
It wasn't me. I didn't crash the castle this time. I just came here to help Dad, but next thing I knew, I was all cut up into pieces. That kind of hurt, by the way. And what's he doing here? Are we all about to fight? Because I'm always ready. Let's go. Some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Her name was Olivia. She lived in Sangri Spa. Just an origami girl with an origami heart, soaking and dreaming of the streamers keeping us apart. She gave it a one-star review, but somehow she also thought the spot resurrected a decapitated turtle. You know, some people who leave one-star reviews don't even, they don't even know what they're complaining about, honestly. Wait, young master, we have more important things to do than battle Mario for the millionth time and suffer our millionth and one loss. You want to help your dad? You can help us enter his castle. We require the use of your clown car. Do we get to fight someone? I'm 16 and I'm re rearing for a fight. I haven't fought anyone in over an hour. Let's hurry up and do this. That thing is going to sink, isn't it? Oh man, this dumb thing's busted. It's like it got cut up or something. Sometimes, Blade. Hmm, so even though you're back in one piece, you're still too creased to fly. The only reason we revived you is we want your car. <laughs> Give me the car! You're also wrinkled and filthy. I hate to think what Lord Bowser would say if he saw you in such a state. Probably good job, son. I'm glad you're alive. Oh, I was so worried about you. I saw your head get seared from its shoulders. Indeed, it seems flying is still out of the question. Blast! Guys, the wrinkles and the dirt and the creases just lay in the water. Uh, Olivia knows. Then we can get... All the stamps and the free prize. Hmm, that gives me an idea. There are more of these springs around Shangri Spa, right? Each has unique regenerative properties. The answer is clear. We must visit them all. Young master, roll yourself and get on my back. I'm going to carry you. Come, you two. We must find hot springs to address young master's wrinkles, creases, and filth. There will be more soaking, I promise. That sounds like a good plan, Homestar. I think it is yellow because of that. All right, well, gross. Uh, sounds like I need to go buy something. Gamek is gonna follow me all the way back home though, yeah? You coming, you coming Kamek? Um, do you have somewhere else to be right now? I suppose you may, very well. I shall await your return with the young master. When we uh, when Bowser Jr. was cut up, he actually just fused again with the car and we heal healed him. Don't do anything dumb. I can't promise that, Alpha. In fact, actually, I can promise the opposite. We will. I think so, Nathan. I think that's what happened. So, I think this is the accessory shop. Or maybe the next area over is the accessory shop. Nope, not you. Somewhere nearby here is the accessory shop. There we go. Fun and functional. Apparently, we're missing some accessories. Fun, funky, and functional. You want accessories? We've got them. I've lowered the prices on a few items. It's a good time to buy. Actually, I don't have my thing equipped. So let's equip our card. So they feel the need to lower their prices. Wow. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Raise the attack power of all your allies for a little bit. Something I didn't know existed. But now we have it. So thank you for letting me all know that. We can equip our... This thing. And that thing. Yeah, I don't really need the extra confetti. And that's fine. Okay, now we can make our way back. We have our equipment. Is there anything else I need to do, by the way? 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and buy these collectible treasures from the bosses we've defeated. I thought he maybe had more. 